Hey girl. Hello Taurus, how are you doing? So let's just jump into this spread, right? Let's jump into your reading for this coming week. My name is Simply Velka and keep in mind when I'm doing this type of reading, I am always just doing a general type of message. So not all the cards may resonate with you in the exact way that I'm re receiving it, right? Uh, what I mean by this is so I could be talking about a relationship in your situation, it could be talking about a work-life situation, or it could be talking about a friendship, right? There's no, like, it, this is where I ask you to rely on your intuition at this point to figure out what, how the cards are trying to relate to you, how spirit is trying to relate to you, because that's the only way that you're going to really be, allow this reading to be as effective as possible, right? So as I'm shuffling up for your three spreads right now, I'm going to be shifting between several cards. And I'm going to be pulling clarifiers for each row as I see fit. And yeah, I'm going to actually, we're going to do a mixture for your last row. Oh, yeah. We'll do a mixture and then we'll do one singular. So many cards to choose from. I just don't know which one to choose from right now, Taurus. <clears throat> We'll do one singular. I'm not going to have that right there. All right. So for your overall theme, overall message for the week will be the Ace of Cups. So this is a really good card, right? I love this card just in the imagery alone. But for the Necronomicon, this is kind of like a, this is like, I feel like already a week for you, Taurus. That's going to be, you're going to be searching for what fills up your cup right now your cup's not quite overflowing yet but you're looking for what fills up your cup and you're finding beauty in that process so and i also kind of want to say even though the necronomicon is graphic i always give this um heads up uh you might have to like the, i feel like with this with all the with the blood if you can tell if it's blood in there i feel like it's kind of, even though it's graphic i feel like this is kind of like sign signifying of uh i keep hearing like hard work so it's either like uh something you've been working really hard on recently is going like this week you're going to start seeing like the uh the breakthroughs of that in that regard does that make sense and uh, um, or if it hasn't, you're going to be starting a journey where it's going to involve a lot of hard work, but it's going to be fulfilling. That Ace of Cups energy is still overall really good. Um, so I pulled some clarifiers, clarifiers already for your first row, but let's get into your first row of cards first before we break it down. So we have the King of Water. So a lot of emotions here. The King of the Water suit um, for this deck, Taurus, is for cups as well. So. Um, the King of Water talks about opening your heart and mind to those around you and trustworthy friends and relationships. So this is already just a good card. Um, yeah, this is reaffirming in a sense that this is like time for you to be more open right now towards the Spirit. It's really asking you to pay attention to the breadcrumbs that they're going to be leaving you this week. I always like to say that Spirit will leave breadcrumbs for where it is that you should go or they want you to go that will be the best or most fulfilling for you and it's just up to us to identify those breadcrumbs so pay attention to this week king of water is asking you to be open keep an open mind to what's coming and what's being presented to you and see how you could actually utilize it to be of your benefit taurus um we have the ten of water again a rewarding family life your emotional material needs are met trustworthy relationships so taurus you have two different cards right now talking about how your people right now in your circle are good so if you're worrying about this week on certain people perhaps um the moon card uh number 18 equaling to nine by the way for numerology write that down to us and this card is talking about important psychic insights events behind the scenes release the fears that hold you back so i almost want to say for you guys taurus there might be a fear connected with some type of social problem for you there might be a fear in terms of like a connection like a romantic connection you don't know if you can trust them or not you don't know if there's like something that's going to be revealed to you um our archangel haniel is really trying to bring forward to you uh, towards that you have trustworthy connections right now in your space. It may not feel like it for some of you right now, um, but trust in the process. There is a purpose to the connections that you have this week, right? I always want to keep reminding you of your cup. This is, I feel like people are going to really be guiding you and giving you the sense of direction, maybe not directly giving you advice, but they'll help lead you, you know, they might be a bump on the road that ends up like shifting your degree of where you're going in your path like later down the road just because of that one person crossing your life right does that make sense so you know it's going to vary for each person's situation but it's one of those small things like this is even like the even though everything might seem small this week like where seemingly nothing is going on that's when everything is actually going on for you taurus 
we have the emperor card i feel like this is definitely you you're going in your into your power by figuring out what is going to be fulfilling to you and that's how you're going to reach it that's how you're going to fill up your glass and be able to celebrate it with other people but the only way like again i keep on having this emphasis on like other people i feel like maybe um we have like the three of uh, swords i feel like maybe perhaps some of you guys yeah i feel like this is where a lot of your fear is maybe you don't want to push yourself because of public perception maybe you don't want to push yourself because you feel like you're alone too as swords and so maybe this is the language that spirit's trying to get you to call you out on Taurus and that you're not actually alone even if you feel like you're alone Taurus you're not actually alone that's going to be the title of this video for you Taurus is like even if you feel alone you're not alone that's not going to fit in the title but that's you know some type of summary of that I want you to remember that Taurus like even if you feel like in your uh, family space and friends and all that are not trustworthy to you you know obviously I don't you know know your situation and some cards are not going to clearly know the full story or speak the whole story for you individually especially for a general reading but really i want you to take this because i can kind of relate to this in the sense that spirits just you know if you focus on the energy of where you just feel alone no one's trying to help you that's what you're going to manifest that's what you're putting out there and spirits just trying to help you realign your thoughts right now Taurus, and be like no 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 you have some good people you have good people we're good people right when i say we your spirits you guys your ancestors they brought you to this reading right there's a purpose to all of everything and the moment you start feeling like a victim to the universe that's when you actually do become a victim to the universe you really want to claim your emperor energy and control this uh this world in your reality in the way that you know you can um so for your second row taurus i pulled the clarifiers again already for you but the three cards i pulled for you initially were the nine of swords the queen of cups and the two of swords so yeah definitely taurus um there's some type of heavy distrust energy going on i don't know what's going on in your life right now taurus don't mind my nails nothing i don't know what's going on with my nails either but i don't know what's going on in your life right now taurus in the sense that you're having this distrust right you're holding this knife while connecting with this person there's some type of distrust this queen of cups you're maybe not giving the benefit of the doubt, or maybe someone's not giving the benefit of the doubt to you. Maybe someone's being distrustful towards you. They don't trust you, and Spirit trying to give you this emphasis and make you aware of it, right? But the Nine of Swords kind of tells me, Taurus, that every all parties are kind of involved in this. They all kind of, mm, actually, dare I say they don't? Dare I say that this is like a mental battle with yourself? Dare I say that you're kind of having this mental battle with yourself of thinking that everyone hates you or certain people hate you or certain people don't like you because you don't value yourself. Girl, y'all didn't come for this kind of reading, huh? The King of Coins. I almost, yeah, I almost feel like you don't value yourself. You're not seeing the value in yourself. And it's because, and that's why you start adopting this Knight of Swords energy, which I associate, anytime I see the Knight suit, I always associate it with youthful energy. So when it's like with the Knight of Swords, I feel like I associate it with kind of like making rash decisions, wanting to cut off connections, cut off strings, um, or any sense of betrayal or any sense of distrust, right? And I feel like this is how Spear's trying to tell the story out to you and that it's like a, the Queen of Cups, you're being asked to open your heart more um, because of this distrust that you have, this like maybe mental battle that you have going on in your own head with this individual or individuals and is really weighing you down, right? Mentally, it's weighing you down. And it's because of this, like, it's weighing you down because you don't see the value in yourself. If you saw, the, like, the value in yourself, even if these people were distrustful, it wouldn't impact you. It wouldn't weigh you down as much as it is. And it's because of this kind of, like, energy that you're holding in yourself. You're this knight of swords where you just feel alone in this journey um, by yourself. And you can trust no one but yourself. And you just want to cut people off. And that's just not the energy that you want to surround yourself with right now, Taurus. It may seem like that's the move for you, but I promise you it's not. Um, so let's go into your third row right here. Already, I'm going to, before you even pull clarifiers, I know I don't need to. For this card, we have the balance card, four, number 14, equaling to five. Write that down. Um, the need to balance in moderation. Wait for the perfect timing. So yeah, this is such a card, Scorpio, that's kind of reaffirming what I already was just telling you, is that this is not for you, this is not the time for you to cut off people. Again, like, we ha when you have the Ten of Water and the King of Water, you're i get the sensation that like spirit's really giving such emphasis that you have good people in your life right now and you need to remember that even if you have are dealing with some not so good people remind yourself of the people that are good to you 
right? Keep yourself at a higher vibrational energy because that's what you want. And you already know this, right? For your clarifiers already, I pulled the temperance card. You already know this. You already know that you need to come from a balanced place. So this reading, this car, these cards right now, I'm just telling you what you already know. You already kind of like, I'm just making you hold yourself accountable or making you aware that you're not holding yourself as accountable as you could be doing, Taurus. You have a lot of potential, right? Nine of fire, don't give up. Protect what, you, what you've already created and laid out there. And I almost want to say this is spirit trying to say don't give up because in protecting what you have already not because there's necessarily in any type of outside force trying to affect you right now Taurus. i almost want to say it's an internal force and it's like if you don't if you choose to give up you're starting to tear to shreds everything that you've worked so hard for right the ace the I'm not picking that up. <laughs> that Ace of Cups energy. It's fine because I pulled the Ace of Cups again for you. Plot twist, baby. <laughs> Y'all thought. I pulled this Ace of Cups again for a clarifier for you. So it's just like, I talked about before, like I can't show you the Ace of Cups card again from before where we talked about that I saw the blood and I saw this, this hard work. I feel like, yeah, like don't tear up this hard work that you worked so hard for, that you put so much energy towards because of your own mental journey that you're going through that's like weighing you down. Even if these people you feel like you can't trust and you can't trust them that does not like wait for the perfect timing you'll show up when it needs to page of swords this all comes together so beautifully for you Taurus I promise you if you just trust this process I promise you if you stop feeling so alone and stop feeling so um attacked by the world like things are going to start working out for you you just like trust in this process you can't trust in anybody trust in your spirit guides right new moon in Aquarius bring love into the situation yes um, new moon in Capricorn, your hard work is paying off. What was I just talking about with the hard work, right? Void, of course, moon, nothing will come in the situation. So this is all these reaffirming cards from the moon, where it's just nothing will come in the situation if you embrace this Nine of Swords energy right now and you choose to cut these people off because they're not, they're, it's not time. It's not time for you to do that right now, Taurus. Emo card, this is the time for you to go on a new adventure. This is the time for you instead of like, yeah, maybe you need to just get out of your environment right now. Maybe quarantine has just been like affecting you, Taurus, and it's just kind of making you antsy and making other people antsy and you need to like go on like a little staycation go to a hotel and just chill in a hotel somewhere and just practice self-love Taurus beautiful how this comes together Taurus I hope this reading was helpful if it was give me a subscribe give me a like because it does help my channel out so much let me know which card resonates with you the most Taurus in the comments below I would love to know about it because I'm nosy but um yeah I can't wait to connect with you guys hopefully again sometime soon I love you so much Taurus have a beautiful day Bye.